process for purchasing antlers, antlerless deer licenses in Pennsylvania is causing headaches now for many hunters throughout the state. Yeah, some major frustrations for sure. The Pennsylvania Game Commission launched this new online system today. Tonight, our Jameson Hicksonbaugh is here in the studio. Jameson, you learned that there were major issues and delays. How far did it reach? Well, even the Game Commission had previously said that it did expect to have some issues launching the new system. But that doesn't sit well with many hunters throughout the state who are attempting to buy a license. At the Presque Isle gun shop, hunters hoping to get an antlerless deer license were given a lesson in patience. <laughs> On Monday, the Pennsylvania Game Commission launched a new system that allows hunters to purchase antlerless tags both online and in stores. But hunters like Dan Weston experienced major issues with the new process. I signed on early this morning, found out that I was 20 some thousand in and I figured I would just go to Walmart. Walmart was insane, so I decided to come up here and support the local gun shop. Due to the high volume of sales, the system experienced widespread slowness and errors, forcing hunters to wait hours for a license. We had one guy that took over an hour and 20 minutes to get his license. That's because the system kept crashing, but we're up and running again now, and hopefully it keeps moving smoothly. Up until now, hunters had to apply for antlerless tags by sending an application to the county treasurer's office. Weston, who waited two hours, hopes the new system improves. So I thought initially that it was going to be uh, much easier for us to get those licenses, and I think maybe in the future that the process will get smoother with time. It's a new system, and uh, unfortunately everything with government always takes some time to iron out, and a lot of times it doesn't get ironed out. Who knows, maybe they'll get it hammered out for next year. The Game Commission did issue an apology on its Facebook page, and said that it is working with its online vendor to fix the issue. Jamison Hicksonbaugh, Erie News Now.